Hello students, welcome to Top Scholars. You all might be busy preparing for your exams as your board exams are so near. As this is the first time you're going to appear for your board exams, you might be in an excited state, but at the same time, there might be a lot of queries coming into your mind. What to study? How to study? What are the type of questions that may appear on your paper? So friends, as this is the last stage of your academic year, this is the right time to know about the paper pattern. So let us now have a look at the board paper pattern which is based on the latest 2019 paper. Your chemistry paper has been allotted total 80 marks. This 80 marks has been equally divided into two sections, that is section 1 which comprises of 40 marks and section 2 also carries 40 marks. So you have 40 plus 40 which gives you a total of 80 marks. So friends, let us first start with section 1 which carries 40 marks. It consists of all objective type questions and the most alerting point is that all the questions are compulsory. That means you do not have any option in this section. So friends, you need to read your textbook thoroughly so that you can score full marks in this section. Question 1 has questions A to H that is total of 8 questions. Marks allotted for each question type is 5 mark and the marks which is allotted for each sub question is 1 mark. That is 8 into 5 which gives you a total of 40 mark. Now let us have a look on the type of questions that are involved in this section. Question 1a consists of MCQs that is multiple choice questions. Here you are provided with 4 options out of which you need to select any one correct option. Question 1b consists of fill in the blanks. In this type, you are provided with some options out of which you need to identify the correct option and complete the sentence. Question 1c comprises of write a balanced chemical equation. In this type, you are provided with a word equation and you need to know the chemical formulas as well as how you need to balance the chemical equation correctly. Question 1D comprises of state 1 observation. Here again you are provided with a word equation and you need to state a distinctive product. Question 1E comprises of questions wherein you need to calculate. Here you can expect questions that is short numerical questions which are based on the chapter mole concept and stoichiometry. Question 1F comprises of multiple type questions. In this type, the questions were completely framed on the chapter Organic Chemistry in the 2019 paper. Question 1G comprises of give the correct term. Here you may be provided with a complete definition and you need to identify the correct term. Question 1H comprises of questions which are based on arrangement, that is, arrange in the correct order. For example, four to five chemical species may be given to you and you need to arrange them in the correct increasing or decreasing order of their reactivity. So now friends, let us move to section two, which also carries a total of 40 marks. This section is completely based on subjective type questions, that is from question number two to question number seven. In this section, you have six questions out of which you need to attempt any four questions of your choice. So something to be happy about, right? Okay. Now friends, in this section, the marks that is allotted for each question is 10 marks and you need to attempt four questions. That means four into 10, which gives you a total of 40 marks. This 10 marks is divided into three, three, four. That means you have two questions for three marks each and one question for four marks each. That means in total you have 12 questions of three marks each and six questions of four marks each. That is, in total you have 18 questions with options. So friends, now as you're aware about the paper pattern, I hope now you're quite confident, motivated 
and focus towards the preparation of your examination. So friends, thoroughly prepare for your exams. All the best.